Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be upgrading a Hike Vision recorder. So we're going to be trying to change the firmware. Right, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is log on. Uh, right mouse click, go into the menus and enter your pattern or your password. Once we're in the menu system, we need to go up to the maintenance menu and have a look at the, firm, the current firmware version. And we can see that there, and we can also take particular note of the model number because we're going to use that in a little bit later. You can do an online upgrade through the upgrade menu, um, and you can try it, but I've found sometimes it just doesn't work properly. So this one doesn't. It says it's on the latest version, but I know it's not. So we're going to go and have to fix that. Right, so what do we do? Nip over to Higvision's website uh, and armed with that model number. We're going to search on Higvision's website uh, for the model of NVR we have and up should pop up a page. And if you scroll down to the bottom of that page, you should see the current version of firmware there, which is there. So I could go ahead and download that right now, um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you another method, which is through the Higvision portal. So let's have a look at the portal. There's a the portal address there. I'll put it on the screen for you. Uh, but once we've entered the portal, you don't need to log in or anything. You just navigate your way through. So we're looking for product firmware. And I'm looking for Hikvision. And we're looking for back end. Back end being the recorders, the front ends of the cameras. And we need to click NVR because that's what we have. And then we need to look at the series of record. Again, this is where the model number helps you. So 7616NI. Uh, and that's the model number there. So it's the series one. And if we scroll down there, we'll find the latest firmware, the build date and all sorts. So we're just going to go ahead and download that. You just click on the little download link and it'll pop itself into your downloads directory. Right. Once it's in your downloads directory, we need to extract it. So with your right mouse click, click extract all, and it'll create itself a little folder uh, with the, uh, the firmware version in there. Off it goes. There we have a little folder. The next thing we need to do is we need to copy that folder. I'm going to click the copy menu up here. You can right mouse click as well and go over to my USB stick and I'm going to paste it into the USB stick. Again, you can use the right menu, but there you go. It's copied it all over now. And I've now going to, going to take that USB stick out. But before I do, I really need to eject the USB stick. So it's a right mouse click, click on eject. And that'll take the USB stick out of the PC or laptop. Right, let's nip over into the menus again. Going to log back on again. Put a pattern in. And we're going to go over to the maintenance menu again. Um, and then we're going to go down to the upgrade folder. I'm going to stick a USB stick in. Uh, give it a second. Press refresh. And you'll find that that folder's there. We double click and double click the firmware file. And it'll say, you sure you want to do this? And off it goes and does its upgrade. Now, this process takes quite a few minutes sometimes, so bear with it. I've sped it up a little bit. My recorder's now resetting. Uh, and there we have the, it's back up online. As I said, this normally takes quite a few minutes. Uh, we're just going to go and check. We're going to go and log in back in again. There we go, putting our pattern in. And we're going to go back up and we should see a new version of firmware 4.6.05 that's the current firmware today hope that helped thank you very much